Good morning, class. Um, yesterday, we started talking about the hero's journey. So first thing I want you to do, we're gonna review our notes on the 12 stages of the hero's journey. Okay, took time to do that. Okay, now we are going to move into Finding Nemo. Who here has heard of Finding Nemo? I have, I have. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna look at Marlin, Nemo's dad, all right? I'm gonna pass out this graphic organizer and the graphic organizer has 12 different sections on it. And how many sections are there in A Hero's Journey? 12. Right, perfect. We're gonna be referring to our Hero's Journey notes from yesterday and this morning. So please make sure you have those out. Here is your graphic organizer. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So we're going to do the first box together, and then I'm going to get your input on the second box, and then we will work from there. Okay, are there any questions before we get started? No. Perfect. Okay, so our first section, according to our 12 stages of the hero's journey in our notes, is the ordinary world. The ordinary world, according to, in Finding Nemo, is the barrier reef. Nemo and Marlin live in a sea anemone. So let's go ahead and write down sea anemone. Okay. And the sea anemone is on the Great Barrier Reef. Yes. How do you spell anemone? Sorry. It is A-N-E-M-O-N-E. -E. And I'll go ahead and write it on the overhead for you. So I'm gonna write in the overhead as we go along so you'll know what to write down, okay? So first we will put that they live on a sea in, a, in a sea anemone on the Great Barrier Reef. The components that we need for the ordinary world are where it is, a little something about it, maybe what it looks like, and who is there. So our who is there are Marlin and Nemo. They live together. We can also put that Coral used to live there, Marlin's wife, but she was eaten by a barracuda. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And where it is, the Great Barrier Reef, and what it is, a sea anemone. It's a very pretty place to live, but it's also very dangerous. Okay. So can somebody tell me what they wrote in their box? Yes. That Marlin and Nemo lived in the pretty sea anemone in the Great Barrier Reef. Works for me. Anybody else have anything to add? That, that Marlin's wife got killed. Yes, you can put that in there as well. Okay, and please remember that we're doing Marlin's hero's journey, not Nemo's, okay? Marlin's the hero in this one. The next box says call to adventure. According to our notes from yesterday, the hero's adventure begins when they receive the call. So can anybody tell me um, what it was that happened that made Marlin go on his adventure yes m m nemo got taken by the guy with the funny glass mask on that swims underwater right so nemo was taken by a diver and he was taken because he went to go touch the butt <laughs> that's what they called it but it's really a boat okay so nemo went to swim to the boat and he was taken by a diver and that was when Marlin's adventure began. He needed to go save Nemo. So his, in Call to Adventure, let's go ahead and write down that Nemo goes to touch the boat to prove that he's brave and he gets caught by a diver. Okay, I'll give you a second to write that in. Okay. Marlin watched, but he had no power. He couldn't stop it. Okay, and that made him very sad. All right, the next section is called the refusal to call, okay? And this is when the hero refuses the challenge. His challenge is to go save his son, but he doesn't want to. Does anybody know why he doesn't want to? Yes. Uh, is, it, is it because he was scared? Exactly, he was scared. Remember, he didn't even want to let Nemo go to school, so he certainly didn't want to go off the barrier reef and go out into the ocean. Okay, 
So those are the first three sections. I want you to go ahead and get in your A groups and write out the rest of the sections. Go through all 12 of them. I'll come around, I'll check on your writing, I'll answer any questions you have. Are there any questions that you have before we break into our groups? No. Okay, perfect, let's go.